What's up YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another reaction to Cradle of Filth, Crawling King Chaos. So if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Don't forget to join me on Twitch, that link is going to be in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so the one other reaction I did was to uh, The Blade by Sion. This was ages ago, like months ago. And that was an amazing song. I still listen to pretty much on a daily basis. Fantastic song. Uh, I'm a big fan of Cradle of Filth. Have been since like 2010. Um, from the first time I heard Nymphetamine, which was an amazing song. And I've listened to all of their albums. They've got some really good stuff. Uh, my personal favourite song being The Death of Love. I absolutely adore that song. Uh, hopefully this lives up to expectations, because the past few albums have been decent. Um, but let's jump in. I want to see how good or bad Cradle of Filth are getting. Oh, the symphonic style I expect from these guys as well. I 100% expect this kind of stuff. The gothic, grungy style is so Cradle. Makes me happy to think they're still doing their thing. Still doing bits. I love it. Ooh. Oh, that face paint and the long hair. They got a new female back in. Yeah, they've got a new female back her. That's cool. Ah, oh, this riff! This riff is sick. See, the one good thing I've always loved about Cradle is how they can um, balance, like, amazing metal with symphonics. A lot of bands struggle with it, um, and they can either make it work or not work. Cradle have always just made it work. I know there's been a lot of debate on what genre Cradle of Filth are. They're like death metal or extreme metal or something. Um, I call them just death metal. Symphonic death metal. Although I wonder why they go through so many back in female singers. Because they've had like eight at this point, right? And they've had quite a few. I mean, obviously, I know that the, the lady from uh, Nymphetamine wasn't ever backing for Cradle. That's Liv Christine from uh, Leaves Eyes. Another band I'm a fan of. This is banging. This is fire. I love it. I'm loving this sort of choir-esque feel in the background. The choir-esque feel fits them so well. It's the cool it's one of the amazing things about this band is that like they've been going since like the mid-90s and they've always had the same style. They've never actually done like a style switch. They're, they're one of the bands that's just consistent with their same style, and it's amazing. Like Cradle of Filth is such a unique band because of the way the lyrics work and their their really weird mix of symphonics and like death metal. It's really cool. It makes me proud to be English, knowing that they're from England as well. Because I did see these live a few years ago, well quite a few years ago now. This was like 2012, 13 at Download Festival. Um, and they were amazing live too. Got the guitarist windmilling. Yes, love to see the windmill. Oh, 
Aw, oh, man, this is sick. This is amazing. This makes me happy. Just seeing Danny Filth doing his thing. Because I know this album only came out like a week ago, two weeks ago, I think. Oh, she's on keyboard as well. Okay. Why do they go through so many backing female vocal keyboarders? That's always puzzled me. They go through so many of them. <laughs> This is sick. I love it. Love her hair as well. I don't know if that's being enhanced by the video, but her red hair is absolutely beautiful. I gotta admit, their backers are always amazingly beautiful women. Amazingly beautiful. This is, oh, this is tremendous. I love it. This is sick. This is just, this is sick. This is absolutely banging. I love it. That was good. That was amazing. That was definitely amazing. Like, 100%. I, I love the fact that Cradle of Filth are back doing their thing. You know, do you want to pause? Thank you. Like, they're back doing their thing again, and... They, they, they've never really had a bad album. I mean, the last one I wasn't the biggest fan of, it was okay. Um, but none of the songs really resonated with me. Like, each Cradle of Filth album that comes out, there's always a song that just resonates with me. Um, so, say, for example, off of the Nymphetamine album. You've got Nymphetamine, but then another song off that album I'm a huge fan of is Medusa and Hemlock. I love that song. Uh, and then, like, stuff like from um, Darkly Darkly, Venus Aversa, you've got Lilith Immaculate. I absolutely adore that song. The Lilith Immaculate is one of my favourite Cradle songs. It's so good. Um, and I think the reason why I love a lot of their other stuff is because they've got a lot more symphonic to a lot of those songs. The only song that I mentioned that doesn't really have any symphonics in it is Medusa and Hemlock, but I just love to headbang to that song. Um, but Cradle are back, they're doing their thing. It's awesome, love it. Hopefully they keep going. Hopefully they keep releasing bangers because bangers is what I want. Um, so I'll take a look at the rest of the album in my own time and I will see you guys next time. So if you like this reaction, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to join me on Twitch. That link is in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, also don't forget to leave recommendations for stuff to react to in the comments below. Take care.